Hello everyone. And uh, here I'm trying like a cheat. So my Husqvarna battery dead and blinking red and it's BY20 36 volt battery and uh, it don't take charge blink red says that it's faulty i measured all cells and just two cells so they all sit by two in the pairs like uh, two cells show like a little bit lower voltage so i'm trying like to charge a little bit directly connecting to the cells you see it was 300 milliampere now it's 130 milliampere uh let's see if we get to the voltage when it's decided it would like to charge it again but um that is unpleasant surprise i have three batteries i got three i have four sukhus partner tools and three of them had a battery but now separate battery costs the same amount as i paid for tools for example I pay like 200 with battery and now like 189 battery itself. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's see if not, so I will reuse the cells for the other batteries when those will, will die. Bye, right, thank you, see you, and bye-bye. Okay guys, this hack didn't work, so now I'm trying to charge these two cells, connecting these wires here. And I limited current by one ampere and it's slowly going up. It was 3.2 volts and it should come to 3.6. Uh, I set 3.6 volt and limited current because the initial current was like more than 3 ampere. And I check in the temperature because it's lithium cells and I don't like to make them hot. I I will keep you posted. So guys, I charged one cells, one set of cells, two cells, and now the next set is charging, and it gets from 3.2 volts to 3.5. And uh, here is the uh, LG cells installed at 21865. Alright, so it's 36 volts in total, unit, and 4 ampere power. Alright, see you. Uh, here guys, I'm connected to uh, voltmeter and you may see how it's slowly charging. It increases voltage little by little. I'm still limiting current with 1 ampere. I like to charge all cells to 3.5 volts and then make another test run if CPU will start working normally and will charge normally after. Because like battery cut off in a tool, so it was uh, high current consumption, it discharged, it's cut off, and it don't charge anymore since then. So I believe it just require a little bit of charge to make CPU think that we are good to start charging. So you see, little by little, I'm get all cells to 3.5 volts, and I hope it will solve the problem. Oh, I am waiting. There are quite a few of them. Let's see. Hey guys, and I'm still charging. I still have three more cells to charge, but you already may see that it is blinking green, not red anymore. So there is a hope that when I complete this, I would be able to put it on the standard charger, and it will charge the battery. Woohoo! Hope this will help. See you. I will let you know results. Hello everyone. And uh, here we charging from the factory charger. You see everything in green. Green LED. Uh, voltage is growing. It was just 345 and it's slowly growing up. So I hope I solved this problem. I will charge it a little bit, at least to the half, and then we'll assemble back and put on the overnight charge and see if it will work tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, 
and I tell you the charging is successful. We are already on the second LED and voltage on the cell is slowly growing. It's 365 volts now. So that is the way how you may restore your Husqvarna battery, uh, which says that it's, it gets broken and discharged. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thank you and bye-bye.